by uh, Alistair Campbell. Evening to you. Um, a lot of people trying to make head or tail of what the Prime Minister said. Uh, your colleagues say it's a dignified and statement -like, uh, statesman-like uh, offering from him. Um, those on the other side of the House saying that it's a blatant piece of uh, party gamesmanship and has nothing to do with dignity. What it is, I think, is it brings sense to this very, very complicated and difficult situation which the election result threw up. No party won. No party leader got a very clear mandate. The Tories got most seats, they got the biggest share of the vote. And the options remain a minority Tory government, some sort of deal between the Tories and the Liberals, and they can carry on their discussions with that. But what's happened today is that Nick Clegg has indicated to Gordon Brown that there may be sense in actually a discussion developing. There have obviously been sort of behind-the-scenes discussions going on, but it, a proper policy-based discussion developing between Labour and the Liberal Democrats to see whether the basis for a coalition government can be formed. And I think actually a lot of people will feel that's not about, if that materialises, is not a bad outcome from this election. Let's just, you know, go back a bit where we were. Do you were. think that's what the British people really voted for? Well, I don't, what they certainly didn't, they, they certainly voted for change of some sort, no doubt about but, that. Let me finish. Well, they voted for change of some sort. Well, I, see, I think you want to have a discussion. No, I was asking, I wanted to, ask, to answer Jeremy's question, if I may. Oh, right. they, they, they wanted change of some sort. They did not go for David Cameron, despite the utterly slavish media support that he got, despite all the money from Lord Ashcroft and his friends, despite the fact that we'd had the recession and so forth. They didn't really want Cameron. There's obviously been... Gordon accepts that there was... Well, he appeared to be their least worst option. They certainly didn't give... I mean, that's no, what he said, what he said, what, what Gordon there. said was no party leader and no party no, won the election. about the facts of the election. <clears throat> In the election, if we take three main parties... Yeah. There is one party that lost both in terms of share of the vote and seats, that is Labour. There is one party that is behind the Conservatives. Uh, and on top of that, we've now got a Prime Minister who wants to stay on uh, for four months, but is saying he's going to resign uh, in four months' time. Now, none of that, with all due respect, Alistair Campbell, can be seen as a vote of confidence by the voters <coughs> in the Labour but Party. But nobody's saying that it is. In fact, that's the well, whole point. you're saying nobody won. What well, I'm saying is, if you just look at the results, there is a party yes, but what you're clearly saying, lost what you're in there as much as saying, it moved well, down. Me, yeah, what you're saying, though, is that, look, David Cameron didn't do that much better than some of his predecessors, but look, I accept he got yeah, more he, seats and a bigger share of the vote. Yeah, my point is, right, vote. OK, but my point is, the situation and, and, constitutionally... And the second point... To be, well, can I, I answer just, the first yeah, one? Well, the second can point, I answer point, the first one? If you put together the percentages of the vote or the parliamentary seats, a lib-lab combination doesn't do it. No, you'd then have to look at That's other parties. Majority. You'd, you'd so have to you look at other parties. But nor is a minority Tory government. Yeah, but a lib-lab... A lib, a lib conservative coalition clearly and has that a may majority happen. and a majority of and, seats. And that may happen. Yeah. And that, all that's happened today... Why not do today, what Malcolm Wick says and just go quietly, accept that you lost this election? Why not do what David no, Blunkett because, says and accept that you lost yeah, well, this election? Well, because I don't think that would be the right thing to do, because I don't think that's the verdict that the public what, delivered. national interest is actually what you're seriously thinking about in this. Yes. The nation actually, needs yeah. four more months of Gordon Brown well, limping I, on until he resigns. Adam, I know that you've been sort of spending the last few years saying Gordon Brown's dead meat and he should be going anyway. I'm, I'm not just, just saying that. Well, 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 show me where I said that once. Adam, I don't want to go are you saying in the national interest what the nation needs is four months? I am saying, I am saying there are three options. I am saying there are three options. One is a Tory minority. None of them are perfect. One is a Tory minority government. That would be perfectly <coughs> legitimate, OK? It wouldn't be terribly stable. It might not last very long, but it's legitimate. The second is a Lib Tory deal, either which would be formal, stable. which could be stable. But what's absolutely clear, Adam, you can't tell the Liberal Democrats to do things they don't want to do. No, I'm not telling anyone. No, that. you're sort of saying it's an easy <laughs> option for them. It's not. And what's coming through loud and clear from a lot of yeah. Liberal Democrats is that their activists and their supporters yeah. are saying, hold on a minute, we did not vote to get you to put David Cameron in power. We voted to stop that happening. Well, did they vote to put uh, keep Gordon Brown in power? They voted. They vote to they keep voted. Gordon Brown in power? No, they didn't, and right, Gordon's exactly. accepted that today, so that which is why... You, you, you no, but what does he do? What does he do? He just sort of says, well, here you go, David Cameron, come on in. You didn't actually get the vote you should have done. You yeah. didn't get the, the majority you said you were going you to do. You got a lot more votes than seats Yes, than I know. Me. Adam, you're obviously upset that David Cameron's not I'm prime not minister. upset. I'm right. Right. I, I, you I, are. You probably Adam, are. Come on, Adam, 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 don't keep Alice, casting Alice, aspersions. Adam, 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 I am commenting. Adam. Don't Adam. keep saying what I think. This is live on television. No, don't keep telling me what I think. This is what you do. You come on, you say, no one won the election. Alistair, you're... No, don't. 
you talk to me. I'm fed up with you telling me what I think. I don't care I don't what you're fed up that. with. I don't care what you're fed up with. You can say what you like. I can tell you my opinion. Don't tell me what I think. I will tell you why I think you're reacting. Alice, so you're being badly. you're being no, very no, you are being a bit provocative here and unnecessarily. Well, sometimes so. politics is about yeah, passionate yeah. things. He is saying Gordon that. Brown is no longer legitimately no, a I'm saying I, Gordon he Brown. Is. I'm saying he if is. you look at the performances in the elections, Labour did worse than the Conservatives. No, and I'm will saying you to you, that? no, they got more seats. Of course they did. The Tories got more seats. So, so you do accept it. Just yes, can but we, equally, can we, uh, Gordon Brown is constitutionally perfectly in to be Alistair, Minister. just tell me this point how... Let me finish this point. He has managed this situation, I think, perfectly properly. He's today announced he will well, not be the Prime Minister. Can I ask a simple question? Yes. Why hasn't he had a Cabinet meeting before He's making this offer? He's about to have a Cabinet meeting now. What, what, yeah, but he hasn't had He's it now. He's spoken to his Cabinet. What can He's the Cabinet spoken. do? Why He's haven't you had a meeting cabinet. with the Parliamentary Labour Party He's like having the Liberal Democrats tomorrow. and the Conservatives He's having one have had? Tomorrow. In other words, Gentlemen, it's you, I didn't know you were so you, concerned about our procedures. You, totally unelected, have plotted this with... Me? Well, and you're elected, You're up here speaking about him, no, but he's... Let this debate carry on later. Let's just remind you what Gordon Brown said a few minutes ago that it's led to this latest round of debate. This is Gordon Brown's statement.